Okay. Obviously, I don't know the lyrics to this song. I love this song, Only Prettier by Miranda Lambert. But one, I can't sing like her. She's a great singer. And I don't know the lyrics. Okay, so sorry. Sue me. It's a guitar lesson, right? Okay, here we go. This is an easy version of Only Prettier. So we're not going to get into the finger picking and all that super cool stuff in the beginning. This is a beginner's lesson on the chords only for the tune. Okay, so um, here we go. The chords that are going to be played in this tune are G, and I'm looking at my little chord chart that I've put together here for this tune, but uh, G, D, D7, E minor, A, F, C, C minor, and that is it. As if that's not enough. That's a lot of chords. Country songs are supposed to be three chords. So, I guess this is not a country song. Yeah. Now, so there's little variations in this thing. Pretty cool. Really, actually, a really cool comp um, composition. So, those are your chords. If you don't know these chords already, or if you need help with strumming and that sort of thing, I've got some help for you. Here on YouTube, I got a bazillion videos. If you want to know about strumming, type in strumming your guitar sage, and you'll find a ton of stuff. Or if it's bar chords, type in bar chords, your guitar sage. I'm here to help you. You hit the link below. There is a book there that has all of these chords in it, and it will help you with learning songs. Okay. Now, if your guitar sounds funny while you're playing these chords, do you have a capo on? If not, you need to. It's on the first fret. This helps us adjust the song to the key of, of G sharp, which we won't be calling it that today. We'll just be calling it G and naming the chords as they feel. But technically, if the capo's here, we're bringing everything up a half step, making everything sharp by a half step, and now it's in G sharp, okay? Okay, so here we go. So um, the chords are gonna go like this, and I'm gonna talk about the strumming rhythm as well in a minute. But the verse goes like this. The song's in four, so like, we're gonna play this real simply, like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Actually, we're gonna go, Yeah, so we're going to count it like uh, one and two and a. Okay? The rhythm all down except for the and or the duh at the end. So it's one and two and da. Okay? Or down, 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 up. If you follow that strumming rhythm for the entire song, you'll be cool. Okay? So. Separately from these chords and what have you, practice the strumming rhythm, and then once that feels good, then start inserting the chords. Or you can do it the other way here where we're going to learn the chords, and then you can insert the rhythm part later, okay? So, one and two and a, okay? If you want to get really complicated, you can go one and two and a, buckle my shoe something like that. One and two and a buckle my shoe. I just invented that rhythm. So, all right, so there you go. And so here are the chords. It's going to go like this. The song's in four, we said. My iPad is falling asleep. And so here we go. So it's going to go one, one and two and a one and two and a one and two and a one and two and a. So we got three, basically we've got three measures of G. And so we're gonna, we can count this like one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four. Okay, so I won't go through the whole thing like that, but here are the chords. There's three measures of G, one measure of D, so you're going to be writing these down, right? You're writing, right? Right. 
three measures of G, one measure of D, one measure of D7, a split bar of G E minor. What's a split bar, Eric? A split bar is when we take two chords and put them, smash them into one measure. So if the song's in four, and we've been playing everything like one, two, three, four, or one and two and a three and four and that. Well, in this case, the split measure would have one, two, three, four, because we're splitting the bar into two pieces. Okay, so if it has four beats in it, then it's two beats per chord, okay? So again, from the top of the verse, three measures of G, one measure of D, a D7, a split bar of G, E minor, one measure of A, and one measure of D. Now here's the cool thing, there's really only, for the most part, there's only two parts to this song, okay? Once she starts singing, there's only two parts. There's a verse and there's a chorus. You just learned the verse. And then there's a chorus. The solo is played over the verse. So nothing new there, okay? Um, and there's a little tag at the end. We'll talk about that. But you got the verse, okay? Three measures of G, one of D, one of D7, a split bar of G, E minor, one measure of A, one measure of D, okay? Then... Um, there's two verses in a row, so you can just double that. Then there's the first chorus, and it goes like this. G, so this is a measure, one measure of G. I'll play the, the chorus for you. So there's the basic vibe. And so it goes like this. One measure of G, one measure of A minor, a split bar, we know what that is now, of C, D, and one measure of G. A split bar of F, C. Don't freak out over the F. We'll talk about that in a minute. F, C, a C minor bar chord. Don't leave. I'm going to show you how to play this, okay? A C minor and a G. That's a split bar. And then a split bar, A minor, D. A minor, D only. Prettier, one measure of G, okay? Now, don't freak out over these bar chords. I have the prescription for what ails you. The doctor is in. Okay, so you were looking for an F chord, right? Here on YouTube, I have a video called The Effing F Chord. It is also known as the most popular video in the world, possibly, I don't know, maybe on YouTube, yeah, not even. But it's a really good video for teaching the F Chord. And basically, I trick you into playing the F Chord by learning about four or five small mini F Chords that will get you to play a full-on F Chord. Why do we want to play a bar chord? Why do we want to play an F chord? Because it will allow you to play about 300 other chords almost immediately where you can add those to your chord vocabulary, okay? Um, so watch the effing F chord here on YouTube, E-F-F-I-N-G, F chord, and I'll show you how to do that, okay? Um, so there's that, and that will help with the form, the, B, the, uh, the C minor, because notice this form right here is the same as this, just up a string and up a couple frets, okay? So it's the same form, again, up the fretboard gives you 12 new chords, this gives you 12 new chords, that's 24 chords right there. So if you want to see the power of what this bar chord can do, type in your guitar sage bar chords and I'll show you. But watch the effing F chord too, so first, so you understand how to play that, okay? That, other than the end of the song, is it. So the bit in the end here goes A minor, one measure of A minor, one measure of D, and then a split bar of A minor, D only prettier, and it ends on the G, okay? Fairly simple song, right? It is. Hey, if you need help with guitar, that's what I'm here for. This is my whole job, is to teach you guitar. 
I actually work at the plant, but I just said, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just going to teach guitar, and um, I'll just do it for free. Why? Because I'm that kind of guy. No, seriously, if you need help with guitar, I'm here for you. If you have questions, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook, which are in the links below. I don't get to YouTube mail as much as I'd like to, but I do get to Twitter and Facebook a lot. So hit me up there. There's a free book located at yourguitarsage.com with these chords and with all sorts of information about guitar. You don't have to pay me anything for it. Go get it for free. There's also a free video course at unstoppableguitarsystem.com. Link is below. Okay, if you like this video, hit thumbs up and hit subscribe. Please spay and neuter your cats and dogs. Eat your veggies. See ya. Da -da 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 -da